Welcome to Hear Advisor, where we put hearing aids to the test to assess their real world performance and ultimately make you a more informed consumer. We hope to accomplish this by leveraging the latest science and by providing audio samples so you can assess devices with your own ears. Today, we're taking a deep dive into one of Hear Advisor's 2023 Expert Choice awardees, Jabber Enhanced Select 200. Hi everyone, I'm Steve Teddy from Hear Advisor, and in this video, we are looking at Jabber's most advanced rechargeable hearing aid, the Enhanced Select 200. Select 200 is a direct-to-consumer hearing aid offering many features found in prescription devices, such as custom programming, wireless connectivity, and three years follow-up care from their audiology team. As of July 2023, it can be purchased online at jobberenhance.com for $1,995. Check the link below for up-to-date pricing. Enhanced Select 200 is an OTC hearing aid and therefore designed for those with a perceived mild to moderate hearing loss. However, one benefit of this device is that it blends the OTC and prescription world by offering custom programming based on your hearing thresholds. You also receive three years of remote adjustments on top of the wireless control you have with the Enhanced Select Phone app. Before we get too far into our testing, I also wanted to mention that this video was sponsored by Jabra. However, they did not influence the production of this video in any way and they did not have final approval before we made this video live. So while the video is sponsored, it consists of our honest thoughts and experiences after testing Enhanced Select 200. Let's look into our test results and then we'll listen to audio samples from our lab. So be sure to stick around. We test all devices in our custom built lab and first measure products using our initial fit protocol. For this device, that meant providing audiometric data for a moderate sloping hearing loss to Enhance's audiology team so they could program the device before it was shipped to me. Once it arrived, it was left in their default volume and all-around program. The first measure we looked at was our prediction of how much improvement to speech intelligibility Select 200 would provide in quiet or moderately loud environments. On this measure, the device performed well, receiving a score of 3.9 out of 5 stars. This roughly corresponds to almost a 50% increase in the number of words correctly recognized. This value is similar to what we have observed in some high-end OTC and prescription hearing products. We next looked at the same measure but in loud environments, like noisy restaurants. On this measurement, the score went down to 1.5 out of 5 stars. The reduction is pretty common for all of the devices that we have tested because providing benefit in high noise scenarios is a very hard technical challenge. This score was on the lower end of what we see for prescription hearing aids, but it is possible that the model underlying our metrics is not ideal for capturing the benefits of their specific noise reduction features. Up next was how often the device feeds back. Now, feedback is an annoying squealing or whistling sound that happens when the microphone picks up the speaker's output. On this measure, Select 200 had a great score of 4.0. This suggests that you will likely not experience any feedback problems during normal use. We also assess how your own voice sounds. Some hearing aids make your voice sound boomy, similar to when your ears are plugged. This is definitely not the case with the Select 200, as it scored very well at 4.5 thanks to the rather open, non-occluding ear tip. This means that your voice should not take on a boomy sound quality when you speak. While this ear tip style may not work for everyone, it was the tip our devices arrived with. The last thing we looked at was streaming quality. Enhanced Select 200 received a 1.7, which is on the lower end of the scale. However, this can be expected of open fit traditional receiver in canal style hearing aids. More including ear tips and even different speaker types are generally needed to raise this score. Regardless, any audio streaming is a nice feature to have. We also program hearing aids following audiological best practices, optimizing their output for speech intelligibility. This approximates how the device may perform in a best case scenario. After doing this, we observed a slight speech benefit improvement across both quiet and louder noise settings. This can be attributed to greater high frequency amplification. Feedback remained the same. My own voice went down a little from 4.5 to 3.4. This can be attributed to the ear tip, which we changed from being open to a more occluding tulip dome. This allowed us to increase gain, which improved speech and noise performance without introducing feedback problems. For most people, 
this is a worthwhile compromise. Another benefit of stepping up the occlusion is better bass response. This helped improve the streaming quality score, which increased from 1.7 to 2.6. This brought Select 200 streaming quality score to the higher end of what we see for receiver in canal style devices. To simplify all these scores, we also like to provide a single number representing each device's overall performance. This is our sound score, which is calculated by averaging all scores based on importance ratings from both individuals with hearing loss and professionals. Jabber Enhanced Select 200 has a sound score of 4.2 and therefore received the 2023 Hear Advisor Expert Choice Award. Now let's check out some audio samples of Select 200 in a typical cafe setting. You'll first hear an open ear audio file which emulates you sitting in the cafe without any hearing devices on. We'll then progress through how Select 200 sounds after our initial fit protocol and professionally adjusted protocol. One final comment before we hit play, we program devices for a moderate sloping hearing loss, which is a very common type of age-related hearing loss. These settings may not therefore align with your individual hearing needs. To hear with the greatest detail, it's best to wear a good set of headphones and keep the volume at a consistent level. Oh, I think she's so talented. Yeah, she's pretty good. Emily's always taking her paintings very seriously. I can tell. How long has she been painting? Uh, she started painting around five years ago. She has certainly come a long way. What are some of her other works? Well, she generally likes landscapes like this. Sometimes, though, she'll paint her backyard in different seasons. Ah, well, she's a regular Monet. Let's now hear the Bluetooth streaming quality of Enhanced Select 200. This time, you'll first hear the original audio without any processing or streaming. We'll then switch over to how the song sounded when streamed to our mannequin's ears using these hearing aids. Jobber Enhanced Select 200 was found to be a high-quality OTC hearing aid, offering many prescription-like features. Our testing showed it to offer significant speech benefits, especially in those quiet to moderately loud environments. This was the case for both our initial and tune-fitting rationales. Overall, Enhanced Select 200 performed as expected for a device at the $2,000 price range. For reference, this is roughly the entry cost of many prescription hearing aids, and as an OTC product, Enhanced Select delivered a similar performance. This review didn't really cover the hands-on side of Enhanced Select 200. However, more information on that is available on HearingTracker.com. A link will be included below. If you've tried this device from Jabra, I'd like to hear your thoughts and or feedback on how they have worked in your life. So let me know in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. If you found the information useful, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe so you are notified of our next review. I'll see you then and thank you for watching.